word to Coney. Konichiwa, bitches. Sleep with the fishes. You raw, you can get rolled on. Welcome to Pegasus vs. the World. Why you want to play music and drown out the wackiest bar of all time? You raw, you can get rolled on. Sushi dishes. Yeah, you want to play music over there. You not slick. <laughs> World, where I take on challenges, comedy, trending topics, and travel. City boy, city boy. I'm glad you acknowledge that I'm the trending topic. <laughs> I'm, I'm hot in the streets on YouTube. If you ain't new by now. Come on now. All right, man, we got to get into it. It's interesting how the hate comes after you. The hate has come for me, you guys. Yep, 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 yep. Just chilling old black Pegasus. Just the chill one, you know, like, it's kind of interesting because I don't put out negative vibes. I try not to put out negative content. I try to keep, you know, the message, the energy. So what? Nobody cares. What you crying for? Who cares what you try to do? You push what you trying to do. You got your agenda. I got mine. What they both do? It's like everybody trying to be so political. They trying to turn people against me so much because of the hate, the hate, the hate, the hate. Nigga, this entertainment. And then I'm critiquing y'all music. Y'all music is trash. What y'all want me to do? Tell you it's hot like everybody else dick riding on the internet? I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to lie to you. It was trash. That shit was sushi rolls, my nigga. You know it. You drown out your own bars, my nigga. Be positive, you know what I'm saying? And it's always something, man. The streets always try to bring you back. Anyways, let's get into my, it. My nigga, what street? Catholic Church Street? What, what streets is you talking about? Like I just like like I just been bad the whole day banging on shit, man. Just I'm just getting frustrated with the sensitivity levels of not only light skinned people, but just America in general. Like, like Congress gotta do something about this, man. Like, you making this too political. It's, I, I can already tell that you taking this too serious and to heart. Like, making this like something against you, man. I judged your bars, man. I don't have no issue with you, Black Pegasus. I'm going against the Avengers and y'all team as a whole. But you personally, like AR, I don't have a problem with y'all. And that singer reactions. I don't have a problem with Knox Hill either. He just lied a lot. He did a lot of manipulation. Same thing with Cliff Beach, just lie a lot and the manipulation. It kind of turned personal, but I just want that to end so I can just like I don't I say I don't want to beef with Cliff Beach. I didn't I get nothing out of that. It's just it's more frustrating than anything. But let's like say you are taking this too far. But man, um so Michelle Show has recently come out and totally boo-booed on uh on uh this joint i did with anthony ray i'm not gonna act like i didn't see this i don't do fake reactions here i just try to keep it a buck i watched this and i was like man i'm gonna talk about it so that's why i have this highlighted point and you know talk about it now um also king dada has been coming after me and i know people think i'm just yeah i don't know what people think i don't care i don't care sensitive i don't have time sensitive for silly nonsense you know what i'm saying so like I don't know. Sometimes I'll see comments here and there. Oh, peace. Man, don't bunch me in with nobody, man. You, If you want to talk about King Dada, make a video on King Dada. You must don't know who I am. I'm him. You got to address me and focus on me. You can't bunch me in. I'm telling you. So, like, like I, I don't know what you're talking about, man. First of all, I was trying to do a live with you. I was going to keep it civil, respectful. I wasn't going to come for you. I already showed the example of how I was going to do with Anthony Ray. He damn near attacked me the whole time, and I sat there and let it happen. I was trying to be strategic with other things. So it's like, what you think that I was going to do? Try to get you in the live and just attack you, attack you, my nigga. I was going to keep it respectful. That's it. And you like somebody out to get you or something. Fucking or this, that, and the other. And I'm just like, no, I'm not. I'm getting money. I'm putting in work. I'm doing things I have to do as a grown up. Oh, clean hand ass motherfucker. I hate you nigga with these clean ass hands. Like, I'll just wash your hands 70 times a day. Man, it ain't that serious, man. It, it, it's cool. You want to be cute. Ass man to move forward in life. But the hate has come for your boy. The hate has come for your boy. Um, and I think it's interesting because I don't know these guys. I know who they are. I'm very self aware and you. I like to keep it a buck and be transparent. Don't I do know that. who Michelle Show is. I know who King Dada is, obviously, but I don't know them. I don't know them personally. I don't have a business relationship. I am not connected with them at any capacity. I want to say that before we get into this because I don't know them and they're coming after me. Coming after you, man. Rappers who can't take criticism should just not be rappers. I'm exposing all y'all. 
You will never make it in hip hop. If if what I said hurt your feelings and made you feel like this, you will never make it in hip hop. And that's what I'm doing. Weeding out the people who will never make it in hip hop. Just like I'm garbage. I'm a garbage rapper and I could never make it in hip hop. Guess why I'm hating on everybody, my nigga. Come on, man. Okay. I work with Knox Hill, Cliff Beats, Anthony Ray, that singer Reactions. Um, maybe they're trying to get me for strays because they have issues with those people, but I don't know them. I have not done anything in regards to them. So let's get into this. Let's just see where this lies. All right. This is um, him (laughs) breaking down our joint. Uh, uh, What is this? USA to Belgium. That they fake try and clone me. No stretch every punch I land. Word to Coney. Konichi wild bitches. Sleep with the fishes. You raw, you can get rolled on. Sushi dishes. Too delicious. Now- <laughs> Welcome, Alex. Yo. You dude, raw. That shit made me laugh the first time I saw it. I can't lie. Got him. Like, I'm self aware, bro. Okay. That Coco Melon edit. With this, <laughs> you can get rolled on sushi dishes. You are garbage, my nigga. You trash <laughs> as fuck. Yeah, let's, go. let's go. See, like this is a type of energy. Like, so I don't know which one is which. It's like you discombobulated. It's like you mad and you feel hurt, but you laughing at it. It's like everybody be so. It, this happened to me so many times. It's a guy that copyright strike my channel, Matt Nye. First, he was in the comments, but I love this. Then he followed me on Instagram. He mentioned me on Instagram. Ten minutes later, he blocked me and copyright strike my video. It's like they up and down. They don't know what to do. It's like, I'm happy. I like it, but I'm hurt. This is mean. Like, man, which one is it? Like I say, I can respect you just laughing, my nigga. I'm talking about bars and rap, not you personally. The only only other thing I said is I'm hating on you because you didn't want to do a live with me, which it all, which that's all it is, man. Like I say, but it's still entertainment type shit. Oh. Yeah, shit like, boy, y'all motherfuckers suck, man. I would destroy both of y'all niggas at the same time if I really wanted to. Now I know this is a character, and and he might actually hate a lot in real life, but this is like a character, and um, it just it reminds me of uh, Chappelle show, the player haters ball. Every, it's like when you get criticism, it got it got to be made up, make believe, and fantasy. It's like y'all don't believe that y'all can say whack stuff. It's like it's got to be a character or or a mockery or something like that. Man, guess what? This is a green screen. I come in here, press record on a fucking phone, not a camera, right? On a phone. This is a lollipop mic. Man, what character am I sending? I never wrote a script. Never wrote a script. And I done shot two whole movies and never wrote a script. Come on, man. Like, is it three? I don't know. Maybe the third one coming at the end of this year. Man, push record, listen to a song, and tell my honest opinion. That's a character to y'all. Like, it's, I don't know. Oh, right. So I don't take it serious in, in that sense. Um, you know, I went through this, though. I, let me see if I can find it. Because there is a part, hold on, let's just Y'all better be glad I don't even want to rap no more because that shit ain't fun for me, man. Y'all niggas is like, man. Oh, he raps too now, huh? Okay. (laughs) Sleep with the fishes. You raw, you can get rolled on. Sushi dishes, too delicious. Now you're super stiff. My nigga, why are you closing your eyes and your lip keep curling up like you saying something? I hate people who think they saying something yeah. like my nigga. I want you to look like you're not confident in what you're saying because it sucked that much. Like, like what? This is coming from a homie with a Caesar fade in the front and my man trying to have the throwback uh, uh, dreads in the back almost look like braids. I can't even tell because he's got like this filter on him that makes him look alien-esque. So... It is funny. He's the king of the roast. These dudes can roast really well. That ain't really my thing, but it is funny. Now, his my nigga, like, like every time I beat the game in Smash Brothers, I gotta fight you afterwards. Nigga, you you ugly as fuck, my nigga. You look like Lanky Kong and shit, man. Look at everything about you. You fake ass Anthony Ray copycat. Look at your fucking beard. Look at your ears, my nigga. Everything about you, that hat loose as hell, big as fuck for no fucking reason. It don't fit you. The shirt don't fit you. But you talking about a Caesar fade because he got lined up with dreads like everybody else in the history of America besides Stevie Wonder. Like, like what you getting at? You, you, you think you about to roast me? I'm about to get on your motherfucking ass, man. Don't do that. This joint is definitely pushed back. His hairline is pushed back. But who am I to talk?
Push back. I don't even got a big forehead. I'm part of the little forehead crew. Take your hat off because I don't even know what's under there. You one of those keto abashi type dudes, right? So I can't talk about it because you're hiding it. I'm right here with mine. Let me help you out, though. Um, Everybody know that I got my hair done right now so you can't see it. But I got a bald spot like right here. But you can't see it, like I say, till my hair grows. So in about a couple of weeks from now, I'm going to do something like this. And then you're going to be like, you better see the ball spot. That's something that's easily attackable on me. Why is you making up stuff about a lineup pushback? They don't even, I'm looking straight at it. That motherfucker is crispy. That's the most perfect lineup I ever see, if I say so myself. If I say so myself. So you can't reach for shit just because you hurt and you insecure about something. I don't wear hats like that. You know, maybe I might throw one on once every two years and I got some fire hats too. Right? Right? I, I'm a 44 year old man. My shit, like, bruh, like, let's just keep. Marlon Wayans, look at that. Boy, you ugly ass shit. Little man, look at that. Like, hey, come on, boy, you look like a poo sign, man. What is wrong with this nigga, man? Everything about this nigga I hate, man. Look at the background, man. Flag, lazy as fuck, man. Action figures. Who, who are you? Fake ass plaque in the back. Don't you got enough for a real. Pl what is he doing? Nigga got a bachelor's degree in the background. Nigga, this is YouTube. Keep it a buck. I mean, this looks good for 44, but nigga, you act like you saying 74. 44 is still young. That ain't shit. But you know, my shit doing the cabbage packs. My shit's man, fuck this nigga. You're making me mad. Chilling old school. I get it. I get it. That shit happens, right? But it's just funny how he paused it. Like, yes, yeah, niggas don't blink. Like I'm a I'm supposed to be a lizard person or something. Like I'm, I'm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Joe Biden. I don't blink my eyes. Come on, bruh. Come on. Can I get a blink, Michelle? Show God. No, nigga. No, nigga. What's your shirt say? Dang. Anyways, the hate is coming after me. What the fuck are you doing? I hate people, man. See? <laughs> Just on your knees so much, you need a new meniscus. Crucifixes, cross me, who's religious? To the witness, daddy's home, give you the business. I get the riches. But my daughter is my everything for family. I do anything full circle like a wedding ring. Uh. Ain't riding shoddy with a fake pump. All these cats pump fake because they can't dump. Don't make me dump the AR-15. Yes, we please explain this. This, this is why I want to hear me explain this bar that I'm about to call out. They pump fake because they can't dunk. Oh, uh, people usually pump fake because they about to get blocked. <laughs> it ain't even no correlation there. Let's hear this. Yeah, hey, uh, we spitting 16. I'm finding my way. <laughs> As I Look at his face. Anyways, um, there's a spot in here where he says... In this reaction, um, or whatever, he did a reaction to our video. He said he's just waiting to hate on me. He said, you turned down a live stream. He's just waiting to hate on yes. me. Meaning, I turned down doing a live stream with him, so he's waiting to hate on me. Which, that is not, that's not a fact. That is a lie. And I hope he comes out, because he says he's up front. If he makes a mistake, he'll apologize. Or if he lies, thanks. he'll bring it out. You never DM'd me. I do not have any DMs from you asking me to do a live stream. You asked Anthony Ray to get me on your live stream. I talked to Anthony Ray. I actually told him, huh, I actually think some of his reactions are funny. Eh, possibility, but Ray, I'm busy right now. I have all this shit going on. Anthony Ray knows what's going on in my business life and personal life in the sense of the moves that I'm making behind the scenes, traveling in and out of states, doing these YouTube collabs, throwing. All right, let me just pause because I'm sure you're a bit. You ain't got no nick. I'm sure you busy as hell. Uh, this is the thing, right? I didn't jump in your inbox like I don't jump in hardly nobody inbox when it comes to asking for a live. Not only did Anthony Ray say that we, we got a whole live together in this live. He said, I will reach out to them and I will see. So he came out with that. Right. So when I asked him again, that was just a follow up to what he said. Now, he didn't just come out the blue with it. Anthony Ray. I did make it known that I wanted to do a live with all them because, like I say, it's Michelle Show versus the Avengers. You know what I'm saying? So that is what it is. All of this is out there. But, no, I don't reach out to y'all personally and just be, like, asking y'all because a lot of people just be – they, like, they be acting scared of me or something like that. And it just be making me look like I'm going around asking, man, let's do a live. Let's do it. It's not that serious. But, like I say, I'm going to hate on anything anyway. So – 
if you did do the live afterwards, I can still hate on you and say that nigga, look at that hat. Look at that shirt. You drop trash bars or just hate for no reason at all. Just being a hater. You know, it's just fun. Sometimes it's therapeutic. You should try it. Just try hating on something like when you talk about my Caesar salad lineup. I'm sure that feel good. I, you know, it feel good. But everybody want to act so nice and holy. But you know that hating feel good. I'm just being up front with it. And like I'm saying shit that is kind of like known. But don't nobody want to just come out and say it. It's like, I don't know. Tom. But I don't know what you want me to apologize and say I was wrong about. I mean, if you want to say that um, I didn't reach out to you, I did. Concerts, blah, blah, blah. Because that is my daytime hustle is throwing concerts, right? Um, and then YouTube is my secondary thing that's just kind of bubbling. And then I got some, uh, uh, you know, a recording studio that I own, a little real estate, blah, blah, blah. So, okay. okay, pop your shit then. When these fools say stuff like that, Michelle Show, I'm talking to you specifically right now. Bruh, why, why do I owe, why do you feel entitled that I, I was about to say my full government name, Robert Houston, Black Pegasus, owe you a live stream? Why do I owe you shouldn't have did that? Oh, you a live stream. I'm just curious, first and foremost. And then why you let me answer that. You don't let me throw my fits and hate for whatever reason I want to. Don't take it personal. Don't take it serious. It's going to be OK. I think that tonight you're going to sleep good. You know, you're going to eat good. You might even get some pussy tonight. Um, This shouldn't bother you that much. You know, it's entertainment. Who's saying because um, I turned down a live stream, which I didn't, that you are just waiting to hate on me. Cool. I, I get the hating angle, and I actually think it's somewhat entertaining. So I'm not really jumping off the ledge, but I do think it's funny that you feel entitled to that I, like, you know what I mean? Like, I just ain't got shit to do. I just ain't raising two kids. I ain't, you know what I'm saying, dealing with all this other. Okay, okay. Man, listen, you just hit me with some information I wasn't privy to. You know, you broke it down that you was even open to it. And um, I didn't know that. You know, I didn't know that. I jumped the gun and I thought you just was like, forget that nigger. I'm not doing it with him. So I was wrong. Black Pegasus. My bad. I jumped out the window. I said you didn't want to do a lot, but obviously you might want to one day. I'm still open today. I have no personal issue with you. So I got to put that out there. But... If that's what you told Anthony Ray, why didn't he? T it just make me want to hate his Manny Pacquiao looking ass. Cause like nigga, you could have just said that. But let me guess, you was busy too, and you was gonna get back with me and tell me that four months from now, and I should just hold my horses, my nigga. Fuck y'all. I owe him a live stream though. Okay, got you, got you. Anyways, um, nigga, you owe it now, cause now we about to be asking for it, cause you said you owe it to it. Now, nigga, now I am entitled. Thank you for giving me the ammo. There's some funny ass moments. Look, I'm self-aware, you guys. This is not my best track. This is not me and Anthony Ray's best track. One of our better tracks is Ugly Boys. People seem to gravitate to like, oh, this is kind of hard. Look. Okay. Every I'll check it out. Every song isn't going to hit with everyone. Everyone's going to be a critic. I don't think, I think the, you know, the way he did that edit, it makes me want to re- reanalyze re the sushi bar raw i was like yo this is kind of a little flip because you've heard raw sushi bars and, and i was like oh you think you're raw get rolled on sushi dishes like just trying to make it hit a little bit more and be a little different and thank you thank you that was the realest response to my criticism ever in the history of my channel and this is what i be wanting this is why i come at knox hill so hard i'm hacking the grass i flatten the cabbage you couldn't have said that no better you don't want to analyze that you still keep doing all these stupid reaches over and over so when i call this stuff out all this stuff is just criticism that obviously people gonna call hate <laughs> it just is what it is so guess what none of that affect me you can call me whatever you want to call me I roll with it. It is what it is. But at the same time, I'm sitting here telling the truth and honest opinion. It's some value there if people actually listen and stop getting hurt. So I don't. I can't listen to this whole thing. I don't know if you about to talk about me for the rest of this video or be king daughter back and forth. All this. I'm gonna end it right here. It's at 20 minutes. I've been getting a lot of YouTube watch time lately.
Um, another thing, all these PayPal requests people been sending, I'm gonna get to them, I'm gonna get to all that. But this beef come first. This like it's like almost like they tell me I'm on a clock and I gotta come with it because they coming at me. So I'm going I got y'all, but you know, I had to get up with this first. Shout out to Black Pegasus. Yeah.